Today, I want to talk about science. <laughs> I have the Good and the Beautiful Space Science Unit Study and Master Books Heaven and Earth, which includes our universe, which is basically their space science unit study. And I want to compare and contrast what's the same, what's different between these two curricula. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'm thankful you're here. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool. And today I want to focus on the science curricula because they are very similar and very different. It's pretty amazing. So if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe below because we do quite a few curriculum type of videos. And if you have any questions, please make sure that you leave those in the comments below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. So let's get started. The Good and the Beautiful Space Science Unit Study is geared for grades K through eight. And the master books, Heaven and Earth, is geared for grades three through eight. So there is um, some discrepancy there. There is a beginner's version of Heaven and Earth that master books does provide, and it is for the younger grades. Let's look at the table of contents to start with. In the Good and the Beautiful, you can see that you have approximately 15 lessons for the space science unit study. And then within master books, you have approximately 35 lessons. So there um, are more lessons included with the master books. As far as the content that is covered, it is quite similar. So you have introduction to space and then you have introduction to astronomy. Down here on lesson 13 is the life of Galileo. Our master book starts at the very beginning with the special feature for, in for Galileo Galilei. Then we look at you know the stars down on further down. You have asteroids, comets, meteors, and meteoroids. In in master books, you can see for unit two you have the stars, asteroids, comets, meteors. Then we have the solar system overview, which is on both of these. And then we go through the different and then you have the moon, which is over here, phases of the moon. And then we also have the planets and then the space program, which you will have the space race and space exploration. So just as far as general topics, you will be covering the same general topics in both of these. Now the good and the beautiful is set up where you start out with how they anticipate you utilizing this and master books is the same way they start out with how they anticipate you utilizing this and also there's some older children so for grades seven and eight you will see that there are some additional materials and then for grades six through eight in master books you can see that as well Good and the Beautiful does have the answer key for the lesson extensions online. Um, Masterbooks has their answer key within the teacher's guide. So within the teacher's guide for Masterbooks, you're going to get the daily worksheets. You will also get the the tests and the tests and quizzes, and then you will have your answers as well. The Good and the Beautiful does have a supply list separated by lessons. Master Books has a supply list and then you can see which lesson they have. They also have a resource guide in Master Books and of course the Good and the Beautiful also has resource information, um, video recordings, books, field trips ideas. So both of these curricula include um, quite a bit of the same types of information like that. The Good and the Beautiful does have these vocabulary cards which are beautiful and they recommend having a space wall. Then you also have planet cards and they also and they have fact cards as well. So there are some just amazingly beautiful pictures included in the Good and the Beautiful.
So let's look at a specific lesson to um, determine some of the differences. So let's take, for example, the phases of the moon. So your preparation is to make a copy of the sheet titled Moon Phases for each child. And so here's your Moon Phases worksheet. And then you have your Oreo cookies where you're going, going to be able to show the different moon phases through Oreo cookies. Uh, they also have a video activity and then you have what you're going to be reading. So it looks like you have these just these bullet points here and this information for the moon phases. And then after that, you have your activities. They also have an extension activity for, and the, again, this is for your seventh and eighth graders is the extension activity. So let's look and see what master books has. So for master books, you have your vocabulary words. The challenge words are considered for the sixth through eighth grade. And then you have just a little bit to read, not too much, a little bit more to read. And then this would be your activity for six through eight. And then for everyone, you have your moon phases activity. So your phase, your activity sheet will be included in your teacher's guide. So here's your moon phases. So we have a few questions to respond. What did we learn? Taking it farther. Then here is your identifying the phases of the moon worksheet. And then observing the phases of the moon. So this would be your additional activity that they include for the sixth through eighth graders is observing the moon phases. Now for the good and the beautiful, the moon is considered one lesson. So you can see that the phases of the moon is in lesson seven, and then it has the tides and gravity. which truly talks about mass, um, gravity, weight, and the gravitational force of the moon within the tides and gravity. Now for master books, their moon section starts with our moon, is it made of green cheese? And it talks about the surface of the moon and how the moon reflects sunlight. We talk about Newton with gravity. Then we go into the moon phases, which we already have discussed. Then we Next is the origin of the moon. Where did it come from? And for those three sections of talking about the moon, they don't really get into tides except for in the our weather and water section, but we're not really focusing on that today. We're more focusing on the our universe since that is the closest to what we have for the space science. As you can see, there are quite a few similarities between the master books, Our Universe, and The Good and the Beautiful Space Science. Um, I don't normally do this when I do these comparisons, but I will just let you know how I like to use these um, because I truly combine them. I really appreciate the master books text. So the information that they include in the actual text portion of their book. I, I like that and that's what we use as our main text for us to, to read, to discuss, to utilize. What I really enjoy about The Good and the Beautiful are their activities and their pictures. <laughs> so they have amazing pictures within The Good and the Beautiful. Their space unit is just beautiful. And the activities that they have are so much fun. So we did this marshmallow, a big dipper activity where we got to make our own constellations from marshmallows. We have We did another activity on how far the planets were um, apart from each other, and that was just so much fun that, that I had found in this Good and the Beautiful Space Unit Study. So for us, 
again, we are really enjoying combining these. Again, I did get the space science study from the free download when the good and the beautiful was offering it for free and i'm so glad that i did because i really like the activities that they include as well as their pictures um, god's design heaven and earth from master books does include activities and you're going to see in the blue portion um, are activities for everybody and then the green portion is to extend it but for us a lot of the activities that the good and the beautiful offers are just more are just more fun <laughs> so so we have been utilizing the good and the beautiful's activities and then the master books text and again that's just what we are doing because i had originally planned on using um, heaven and earth but then when the given beautiful offered this as a free download i wanted to see what it was <laughs> so we did do that free download but finally um just to reiterate you know master books does include the worksheets the answers tests and quizzes in as well as their daily as well as their schedule is all included in the teacher's guide. The Good and the Beautiful does include their preparations on the front, uh, on the beginning of each lesson, as well as reminding you what supplies you're going to need and then some of the activities that as they would recommend you doing which I, is very nice to have it right here in front in the front of the lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Again, I hope that this has been an informative video for you and I hope that you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.